Hello everyone, it's Francis with Your Book of Memories. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick project share. I have come out with my new version of my simple mini album, version 4. I do have a tutorial already available on my website, ready to go. I'll leave it as a link down below. The paper line I used, okay, Echo Park likes to put uh, their cut aparts on the back of their packaging, which is brilliant use of paper, right? That's my boy, designed by Lori Whitlock, okay? Echo Park, I cut that part out. <laughs> Excellent, we have two 12 by 12 cardstock sticker sheets right here, unbelievable. We've got four by six landscape and one page of three by four cut aparts, portrait style, okay? Here on the front cover, I did use dimensional foam tape to pop this image off. I did cut this out of one of the cut apart pages. Added a couple stickers and as you can see, I just got done with the tutorial. I got my chalk marker on me. I did a spine wrap right there, beautiful. Love the little airplanes on the back. Okay, so once you open this up, the front and side cover has a really cute space to put photos inside there or anything else decorative. I don't have anything in there only because I really like the way this looks, okay? So super cute, this is for looks. I do have magnets in here and those are cute little stickers. You can stick anything in here, loose photos. Beautiful, and I show you how to do all this. And if you wanna stay tuned on how my tutorials work, all the effort that I put and hours and hours of editing that I put into my tutorials, I will be playing a tutorial trailer towards the end of this walkthrough. So here's a couple stickers and strips of design paper. Okay, beautiful. And then, we, of course, we got my uh, chalk marker going crazy right here. And this is a little insert that comes out. And you can put the photos on there. Super adorable. I love these stickers. They're so positive and fun. That just slips right back inside there, and then we do have a four by six photo spot right here, four by six plants directly on top of there. Okay, beautiful, forgot chalk marker on the back of that. Love these stickers. Okay, right here again, you can place a four by six photo right here, and of course I left these things open for you. And right here is an awesome, delightful belly band just for you. Bingo, front and back. How many photos can you fit in here? Maybe about 20 or so. Okay, and this came together in one day. Just a few hours and I was on my way. Look how pretty. Look at this, beautiful, love that bike. And then we've got a waterfall feature here on the back. Plenty of space for photos and journaling. Is that not the most fantastic, cute little quick book that you've ever seen? Again, we're gonna hit up the tutorial trailer. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Bye. The tools I will be using to create this very easy, quick, simple mini album will, you already know it, a scoreboard. <laughs> I love having a ruler on hand as well as a pencil, okay? and a bone folder. I will also be using two pieces of eight and a half by 11 medium weight chipboard. Okay, here we go. Two pieces right there. 17 sheets of, you know, heavyweight base colored cardstock, whatever it is that you want to use. This is eight and a half by 11. Absolutely stunning. I got this for $2.49 at Hobby Lobby when it was on sale. Here's a 12 by 12 cardstock sticker sheet. How beautiful is that? I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. This is going to be a very quick project. So this is something that you can absolutely make. All the tips you want in a very small book. These, this is the book to do. You'll learn everything you need to know just from this book. Then you can go off and start designing your own. Now look at this. But I want you to take note here. There is a bendy side and a stiffer side. Now on the stiff side, I would like us to cut. And what we're going to do is create a cover wrap. I'm going to attach this 3 8 of an inch score tape. The straighter you put the tape, the straighter of a guide that you have. Don't be hard on yourself on this part. It's all going to work out okay. You could do it. So simply I'm just going to line the perimeter of each piece on one side. And you can put as few or as many strips in the middle as you would like. Once you get those all attached, now we just take our bone folder and we just apply some pressure on the back of the score tape pieces and realize that we never want to stick any edges of our chipboard at the end of a paper. Okay, so there's a backside right here where it overlaps. 
and there's a front. All right, so I'm just gonna twist this in. Because when this is straight here and it goes down at an angle, that's exactly what we want. So that's gonna be one piece six and a quarter by seven and a half. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut seven and a half. So with the six and three eighth inch side along the top, we will be scoring at three quarters of an inch. Comes off right at your measurement, okay? Bing, go, was his name out, okay? And I'm gonna stick this bottom right. Pardon me, and I'm gonna stick that first one, flat guide this one, and wherever that ends up, that's beautiful. An eighth above that score mark, and center this white piece of paper right inside. 